Good morning, today's lesson is 11.6. Today we're gonna to be doing the volume of a rectangular prism. Our essential question, how can you find the volume of a rectangular prism with fractional edge lengths? So we've been doing surface area, which is the outside part, right? But now we're gonna find out how much can fill up the box. That's what volume is. So you can use the formula V, or volume, equals L times W times H. So length times width times height to find the volume of a rectangular prism when you know the length, width, and height of the prism. Let's unlock the problem. A binto is a single portion meal that is common in Japan. The meal is usually served in a box. A small binto box is a rectangular prism that is five inches long, four inches wide, and two and a half inches high. How much food will fit in the box? So first we need to underline the sentence that tells us what we're trying to find. And what we're trying to find is how much food fits in the box, right? So how much food fits in the box? Then it says circle the numbers that you're going to need. Well, you're going to need to know the length, the width, and the height. Now they want us to find the volume of a rectangular prism. So we're going to use the formula V equals L times W times H. So that's volume equals length times width times height. Step one is to sketch the rectangular prism. So if you look over here, they've kind of sketched that for us. And they've got the height, the width, and the length, right? All right there. So then you're gonna identify the, the valuable, the value for each variable. So our length is five inches, we already know that. And our width, okay, is four inches. Right there's our width. We already have our length, and then our height is two and a half inches. So there's my height. So now we're going to evaluate the formula. So volume equals five times four times two and a half. So I'm simply going to do it. Well, five times four is 20, and 20 times two and a half. In order to multiply this, remember I'm going to put my one under here, but then I need to change this number so that it's a mixed number so it's easier to multiply. So remember my, my denominator, I multiply and then I add, right? So two times two is four, plus one is five, so I get five over two. So essentially I replace this, I'm just gonna erase it so we know we've replaced it. So now I have 20 times five, and I have one times two. So one times two is two, and then I can come over here, 20 times 5. 5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 2 is 10, so we've got 100. Okay? And I can, now I need to find out, I don't want to put it in a fraction, so 2 can go into 100 50 times, and it goes in whole without any leftovers. So volume is going to be 50 inches squared. Sorry I didn't do this over here, but it says replace the L with 5, replace the W over here, we already did it, with four, and replace the H with um, two and a half. So, 50 inches cubed, make sure you get that cubed, because we're doing three dimensions now, one, two, three, when we did area, we only did two dimensions. So the answer is 50 inches cubed of food is going to fit in the box. Connect. You know that the volume of a rectangular prism is the product of its length, width, and height. Since the product of the length width is the area of one base, the volume is also the product of the area of one base and the height. So the volume equals the area of one base times the height, right? So volume equals the base times the height um, of the base. So let's identify for each variable. So height is, in this case, it's two and one quarter inches. And the area of the base in inches because if the base is nine inches, right? There's the base. Because they gave you the area. See the squared? So that's the whole area, right? So they must have had a, a width. So they had these two numbers and they multiplied them together and they got the area. Kind of confusing. I'm gonna go like this because I really don't want to confuse you. Okay, so area equals the length, width, oops, width and height, right? Times each other, not area, I'm sorry. Volume equals length times width times height. But what they're saying in this problem is, 
if you just find the, the base, which is the length times the width, then you could just multiply that times the height and get the same thing. So if I'm gonna replace the base with the nine inches squared, because I've already multiplied the two sides, that's how they got the nine inches, with the height of two and one quarters, then the volume is gonna equal nine times two and one quarter. So I've got nine times, and then we need to change this into a mixed fraction. So the way I do that, remember we do two times four is eight, plus the one is nine. So I get nine fourths, okay? And then when we're doing this, remember we put the um, one underneath. So I have nine times nine, which is 81, and I have one times four, which is four. Now if I'm gonna reverse that, Four can go into 81 20 times, and you have one left over. So you get 20 and 1 fourth inches cubed, right? So squared is the area, cubed is my volume. So the volume of the prison is 20 and 1 quarter inches. Make sure you do cubed. Okay, so the volume of a cube, remember a cube has the same um, same distances for base, width, and height, right? Or for length, width, and height. So you could say that the volume is S cubed, so the side cubed, because it's this times this times this, right? So volume equals three, we're gonna substitute three and one half feet, because that's what this is. Three and one half feet cubed, right? So if I'm doing that, First of all, I need to change my fraction. So if I take the three and one half, I multiply times three times two is six plus the one is seven. So I'm gonna get seven over two. So three, seven over two cubed is the same thing as saying seven over two times, seven over two times, seven over two, right? And I get um, on the top I get two, or on the bottom I get 2 times 2 times 2 which is 8 and on the top I get 7 times 7 which is 49 and 49 times 7 is 343 now I want to try and make it be a mixed number and not an improper fraction and 8 can go into 343 42 times, so I have 42 holes, and I'm gonna have seven left over. So my cube is gonna be, volume is gonna be 42 and seven eighths feet cubed. All right, so these are super easy. Remember my volume equals length times width times height. So I've got volume equals, my length on this one is 10 and a half, and my width is 15 and my height is 25. So all I do is I multiply 10 and a half by 15 by 25 is gonna give me my volume. I do wanna make a note that remember when I have my half, I have to change it before I can multiply. So 10 and a half, I'm gonna multiply the bottom by the top so, or the whole number by the bottom. So I get 20 and I add the one, so I have 21. So this is 21 over two times 15 over one times 25 over one, right? I'm gonna multiply them all the way across, and then I'm probably going to have to, um, let me do that really fast. So 21 times 15 is 315, and then times 25 is 7,875. And then on my bottom, I have two times one, which is two, times one, which is two. And then I have to figure out two can go into 7,875, 7, and it goes in 3,937 times with one left over, so I'm gonna have one half. Okay, you're gonna do the rest on your own. If you need me, I am on the carpet. Good luck.